hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to learn how to deal with the overset text and i will make you understand what is actually the overset text and how to link the text boxes with each other so that we you do not need to edit the text again and again when you want to make any edits okay let's suppose i am creating a newspaper right and here i want to put my text so let's suppose i have just grab a type tool and create a text box and I've placed my text inside it. Let's uh, reduce the size of it a bit and create adjust the spacing. Okay, so I have put my text over here. So that was a simple single paragraph. So we do not need to worry about it. But what you have seen in the newspaper, there are multiple columns to deal with. So let's suppose we want to keep three columns at this position. That is the first column creating a duplicate holding the alt key, the second one and the third one. Okay, we can adjust the width of the text boxes, right? And select all these three in order to maintain the spacing, just go to align panel and click on the horizontal distributed spacing. Okay. Let's suppose there is a there are two sentences that you want to get rid of in the first text box and when you let's suppose delete this sentence so you can see that there exists a blank portion so in order to fill that portion what you do you will copy or cut the text from here and then paste it here and in the same way when you cut and paste over here the blank portion will be created in this area so this is a very hectic process if you do like that so in order to save time and effort what you need to do let's suppose this is our entire text i have copied the entire text that you i want to put in these three of the columns okay so just delete the text on the all the text boxes and put the entire text in the first one right as you can see the red the red icon of plus over here basically this is the overset text this icon indicates that your text is that much lengthy and it cannot be accommodated in the single text box so you need to create another text box okay so here is that other text box that we have created so what you need to do initially just select the first text box click on the red button you can see when i have click on the red button it has created something like this and just drag your second text box and click on the second text box so what it does it has distributed the text in between the first and the second one but you can see that our text is still too much that it is not accommodated in the two text boxes so we have to deal with the third text box that we have created again click on the red button and you can see the chain icon over here and just click on it so you can see that our text has been accommodated in the three columns but it still says that it is not accommodated so just for the understanding let's reduce the size and you can see that our entire text has been accommodated in the three text boxes okay now the interesting thing that the video is all about let's suppose we do not want to keep these three this entire sentence so once I select it and press delete so what you can see that it has automatically transformed the text from the third to the second paragraph and the second to the the first one so it has automatically resolved the issue of the oversetting and this interlinking of the paragraph is very much uh, beneficial in your daily work. 